Okay, I'm back. I mixed up some more paints, same colors, and hopefully the same consistency. Um, and get this glove on here. I was going to show you, if, I don't know if you can see that or not. They're kind of thick, but they will run off of the, yeah. So that's my paint. I'm going to start with this one. And one thing that I forgot to do until after the camera is off, and I did use my blowtorch on the previous coasters and to bring up a little bit of the um, uh, cells, a little bit. So I'm going to use the same cup and I'm going to start with the black and pour it in and then a little bit of the green. I split the black and the silver with the colors. I think I just saw a clump go in there. Hope not, but if there is, we'll get it out. And the red, or rouge, no, that's berry. And more black. Green, silver, and berry. I love this berry. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I got you in camera. It's just so shimmery. So shimmery. Okay, I need one more. Black and a bit more of the green. And silver. didn't have a lot of time after I do this video today so I, I just used the paper cups so that I could just I wouldn't have to mess with washing that takes a lot of time just cleaning up everything I like to use the plastic so I can recycle but I didn't um, so stir that just a little bit and here we go on the second one. And just pour it around the sides. I'm going to stop. Grab one of my. I did find that. See that clump? Now, where did you go? Maybe it went off. I'll watch. It should drip off. Once again, these are a mixed paint and Floetrol and a little bit of water just to get to the consistency that I need. Come on, go down this way. It's so funny to see that paint go to the side like I know you want me to go there but I'm gonna go over here get over here make sure it's covered and then and then I'm going to take get rid of a little of that off the bottom Go 
there's a little area there that had been hiding from me that I didn't see. So I can send some paint down that way. Oh yes. Yeah, they look pretty much alike. Of course, this one will continue to drip for a little bit. And while it's doing that, while it's doing its thing, I'm gonna go over here to the next four. Four deals of paint, one jar. And I'm gonna mix them. And I'm going to put, I'm gonna put silver in first. And then uh, purple. And the black. And the rouge. And then back up to the silver. And I'm just pouring those in there and they do tend to go down through, but they're staying on top pretty good. Not mixing in with each other until they get on there. And hmm. yep, one more, one more round. Yeah, I mentioned before that I, I really like snowmen and all of that, but I really don't like the cold. So a friend of mine gave me a snowman one year. And he's a really, really cute. He's on his skis. He's made out of sand. <laughs> I said, see, you can have the best of both worlds. A snowman and the beach. <laughs> so I love that. I laugh every year when I get him out. I guess I could leave him out during the summer. I always wanted to build a sand, snowman on the beach, but it always ends up being sand castles. Last summer, I got to go to the beach with all four of my grandkids. Uh, that was a very special, special time. And we built an awesome sand castle on the beach. That was a fun vacation. Any vacation that includes those grandkids is a special vacation. Even when we went hiking in the mountains at Thanksgiving in the snow and all of that. Yes, once in a while they talked me into things like that. It was still fun because of who I was with. Okay, I've got them mixed. I stirred it just a little. And now I'm going to do this one. And pour it around. These colors are so pretty. I like the green, but oh man, these are gorgeous. I'm going to stop and give it a little finger pop on those areas that it's trying to avoid. Oh, a big one over here. There you go. Come on. Hmm. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And my stir here. Let's see if I can't get a little coax a little bit of that off of the top. Come on. Go 
go right down through there. Yay, very good. It's kind of hard with these because they continue to drip and change um, as they drip down through there. You see an area and you think, oh man, I really like that. Then it drips away. <laughs> it's just a part of it. That's really looking pretty too. Very much so. Oh, I like both of those. Now I'm going to move this stuff out of the way and we'll get them off of those coasters and let them continue to do their dripping over here. And over. Whoa. Almost dropped that one. You can drip there. Which is one of the good things about moving them while they're still really dripping. Is because if you do touch them when you're moving them, it, they're continuing to drip, so they will cover in. You need to double check, but they will um, cover up those areas that you touched when you were moving them. So, double checking on those. And then I usually take a little uh, skewer. I love these, and I'll just get to loosen up the paint underneath that you poured before. And I just got that off and it's got a deal. I'll, I'll get clear off that top part of it anyway. Okay, now I'm ready to do the coasters. And I just, actually what I'm gonna do is just pick up a little bit of this and drop in there in the center. I make jewelry out of my skins, and this looks like some really pretty skins on this. So, your skins, if you're going, what in the world are skins, Donna? That's paint that is dried, and it makes really nice to make jewelry or coaster or coasters of uh, magnets. I was going to try to show you the back, it's taped. And then I just tape the popsicle stick on. So. And again, this one's turning out really pretty. I've got a little bit more of the black in this than I do in the previous one. That's okay. That black is shimmery with that iridescent medium in it. Get off this corner over here. Sorry, this is going to be a long video. We're doing the four. If you don't want to watch this part of it, just scroll ahead. Get that one corner there. Okay, and grab a cup and let it drip. Yeah. Clear off those sides on that, and I used up all my paper towels that I had out. It takes a lot of paper towels, so I just buy my paper towels at the Dollar Tree. Um, once in a while when I run out of those I have to go steal from the kitchen but okay now we'll do this one and see what we come up with with it and again I'm just gonna kind of touch that a little off that side and There. 
going to bring that back in. It almost looks like a bird there in the center. Do you see that? Mm. I've really enjoyed the birds this year. They, we have had, we had the Orioles earlier and the Warblers. And now we've got the Hummingbirds and the Finches and the Wrens. And, oh, I just love to watch them. I put grape jelly out for them. Who knew? Birds like grape jelly. And, uh, and the finch food. But they really, really like that. They like to never found my finch feeder. Okay, get a little cup over here. Look at that one. Oh, I like that swirl. Well, my cups are all stuck together. There we go. And I'll sit that one down. I'm gonna see if I can't get a little bit of that back to the center. That swirl, I really like that swirl. So I'm just pouring a little bit more of the paint off. And, okay. Now I'm going to take my torch. I'm gonna remember this time to take my torch. It's just a little creme brulee torch. And I just got it at Bed Bath & Beyond. And see if I can't pop some bubbles. I didn't use any silicone. I don't use silicone a lot. Usually I get good sales with Floetrol. If I'm wanting more, then I will add it, but not for this. Oh yeah, that is so pretty. Ooh. I'm about ready to running out of propane. Er. I get those popped. A lot of bubbles in there because I just mixed up this paint. Come on, give me just a little bit more. A little higher. I'm going to torch this a little bit. I don't think I've got any bubbles. <sighs> okay. So, there we go. Um, poured with the same paints. I think I put a little bit more. I don't know if you can see these other, other ones. I poured, put a little bit more black in this than I did in this one. And the jars look pretty much alike. And then on the purple one, can you see this one? It's, um, they look they look pretty much alike. There's a little bit of difference in them. This one's a little bit lighter. It shows up a little bit more of the uh, uh, silver in it than this one does. But there we go. They're all, now they just have to sit here and drip. <laughs> and then I will put a coat of resin on them. So when I do that, I'll do another video and let you see the process of putting the resin on. I, they have to cure first, so, uh, but I will do that. Thanks again for joining me. Sorry this video is so long, but uh, I wanted you to see doing both of them and even with mixing up the paint. They got pretty close uh, to the same um, colors and, ever, and designs in them, but yet they're very different. And that's what I love about this process. Now I will take on my skins and I'll dip some cabochons. So, uh, I'll put, I'll try to put that at the end of this video. Okay. Thanks again for joining me and please once again, subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up. Thank you so much. Have a great day and God bless you.